Hey guys, welcome back again to the channel. We are today with the second video on the tutorial of how we can set up our Zim Apex uh, device. So first of all, if you haven't watched my previous video, my first one, uh, you should go ahead and check that one first and then come back into this one. Obviously, there are many videos uh, on the internet which uh, explains how to use your Zim Apex device. But anyway, I decided to make my own series of videos and try to make make uh, the setup guide uh, in uh, very small steps uh, and easy to understand steps because believe it or not there are specific things which you need to do in order to get your Zim Apex device configured correctly and be able to play as smoothly as possible. So uh, the first step was to get the firmware update uh, for um, uh, for our uh, Zim Apex device and the next step which I'm going to show you and uh, that you have to do with your uh, Zim Apex is go ahead and download the Zim Apex manager which is the app or the program which we are going to use to configure our uh, our devices that are connected uh, into the Zim uh, Apex uh, and uh, there we can uh, manage all of our all of our games and all of our settings for each game specifically so this is uh, the second step and obviously it's a uh, very important so what you need to do is go on your uh, phone or your PC if you want to download the uh, app manager for your PC if you have a PC with a Bluetooth uh, uh, connection because the device is connected to our phone or PC via Bluetooth and go to your browser and type uh, there Zim tech and click on search and then obviously go to the main page like we did with the firmware then go to support downloads then zim apex downloads the first one for the latest updates firmware and application and in here there is a very important notice which uh, i i think that 90 percent of you guys will not catch this one it says that the uh, android user uh, requires to have location service to be active in order to connect your phone with the Zim Apex so uh, make sure to activate your location service before you go ahead because you won't be able to connect your Zim Apex with your phone or with your PC uh, I'm going to download my Android version obviously because I have an Android if you have an iOS or PC you can have your uh, your uh, version for your device so uh, if you wonder why I'm doing this uh, through the browser it's uh, because in this way we are sure that we are clicking the right link for the right uh, application manager Zim apps app uh, Apex manager in this case because believe it or not they may be some scams out there so make sure to go to the Google Play Store or App Store uh, through the uh, main page of the Zim Apex okay we open the program make sure to read the things and we click on continue read the list uh, license agreement obviously and then hit accept don't forget to allow your uh, application to use Wi-Fi internet connection it will ask you all of that stuff to allow the application we download the latest update uh, game support to start using game uh, uh, start using Zim Apex it will take just a little bit download complete okay and allow again and as you can see it says Bluetooth adapter is not turned on because uh, I have not turned on my uh, uh, blue, uh, Bluetooth adapter or, or in this case the Zim Apex. So let's just close the application. Then we insert our Zim Apex into our console or PC wherever you want to use it. Then we go to our uh, Bluetooth settings and obviously we have to pair, uh, we have to pair the device with our phone. Okay, you will find uh, the Zim Apex uh, on the available devices. Obviously, if uh, you don't find it, you may have a problem uh, with the device itself or maybe with your uh, uh, Bluetooth device phone or PC. So uh, you can find it there. Then you click on Zim Apex and it will say pairing. Uh, while it is pairing, we can go ahead and open the application that we just downloaded, the App Manager, and it says to connect to a Zim Apex the first time, press its button now. So we press the button on, a, on the Zim Apex. 
Okay, and after we press the button just one time, we just need to press it. It will take uh, about 10 to 20 seconds to load up and we are good to go. So now our application and the pairing with the Apex, uh, the, uh, Zim Apex, uh, it's uh, uh, is finished and we are ready to go ahead and configure our preferred game that uh, we want to play with our Zim Apex uh, device. But obviously this is going to be for another video because uh, as I told you at the beginning I want to try and do uh, very small steps uh, into configuring our Zim Apex device because uh, uh, it is very important for me to have a step-by-step -step guide in small steps that to have a video with all the steps in it and maybe miss something and um, um, and so you, you cannot configure correctly your uh, Zim Apex device. Okay then, that was it for today guys. If uh, the video was helpful, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Also turn on post notifications so you never miss one of my new videos. Uh, and uh, yeah, as always, catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>